Don't cry. Everything will be all right. Come and lie down. Got a phone in here? Yes, sir. Oh, thanks. Well, well, here's my old colored friend. You should have been a detective, my boy. You were right. Oh, shoot. It was kidnapping. Hot in here. Say, you don't think the old man would grudge me a little drink, do you? Looks like you could stand one yourself. Come on, sit down. And what do you think of all this excitement, my boy, huh? Just between me and you, it's the work of amateurs. Gee, they could have asked for $100,000 and got it. And they asked for $10,000. Chicken feed. Look here, my boy. You say Erlon was here that night, and he says he wasn't. You're the hero in all this, and I'm going to put you on the front page. By the way, was Erlon really here that night? Yes, sir. You saw him here? Yes, sir. I drove him and Miss Dalton here in the car. They must have killed her then, don't you think? They must have, sir. Who? The kidnappers. Right. Well, now that we both agree that she's dead, just suppose I had killed her. Well, what would I do? Say, what's going on here? We're waiting for you. Just a minute, boys. Watch this. Let me see. <coughs> oh, yeah. I need money to get away. I'd write a ransom note. Collect the money before they found out she'd been murdered. Wouldn't you, Bigger? What's the matter, Farley? You sound to me like you got the DTs. What would you do, boy? Stop teasing, Bob. <laughs> Where's all that smoke coming from? I think this boy is trying to smoke us all out of here. Hey, let's see what's happened down there. What's the matter, fella? You scared? Where are you going, Bigger? Farley, you sure got that kid rattled. Not a boy scared easily. This is delicious. Let's keep up the fun. Come on, fellas. Why don't you tend to the furnace, boy? When I saw that smoke, I thought the house was on fire. Hey, let that boy alone. Don't break up the show. <laughs> and now we have a body to get rid of. No traces? No one ever to know. Barrier? No, that's too difficult. Somebody might see you. Well, what would you do with the body? <laughs> I'll tell you. Fire! Yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd burn the body. In a furnace like that, for example. Wouldn't you, Bigger? Don't you think you've gone far enough? That boy's gonna faint. <laughs> Why don't you get those ashes out, Bigger? That fire is really clogged. There's smoke everywhere. So you're entertaining the newspaper men. Well, there's a time for everything. <laughs> I'll do it. Well, we'll get a move on and do it. <laughs> if you don't know how this furnace works, I'll show you. Come on, boys. The show is over. No hard feelings, Bigger. Come on, boys. Let's scram. Hey, hey, you guys, wait a minute. What if? Take a look at this. A bone. So what? <laughs> Let me see that. It's a vertebra. It's from a body. From a human body? Yeah, a human body. Are you sure? Let me see. Where's that boy? Oh, looks like he's done. But why did he do it? A dead white girl, the nigger runs. What do you think happened? Captain Summers, this is Britton out at the Dalton home. Sent out a citywide search for Bigger Thomas. Here's his description. Negro, age 25. <laughs> Bigger? 
Cameras! The police? Come on! Break your blankets! you'll do in looking for me is to go to your room. I had to bring you here. What happened? Where's that girl? She's dead. Oh, God. But I won't give up. They got to fight for me. You told me you never was going to kill. I didn't kill. That's the truth. I never told the truth. Did kill her? Forget that girl. We got to think of ourselves. If they find you here, you'll cry and tell everything. Come on. Here. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to hide here because they think I'm too scared to come here. I'm smarter than they are. Come on. <laughs> 